All right, hello children, it's Pastor Matthew here for our children's praise video. And as we know, Christmas is almost here, so we are doing our Advent candle uh, this time through December. Last week, we looked at this candle, which represented hope. I'm going to light it today as we keep working through uh, the Advent candle, which is uh, celebrating the time when Jesus will come into the world. So here is a really important word for you to see if you can remember. The word Advent. Advent. That's what we actually talk about this time of year being an Advent season. Advent is a word we don't use very often but you'll really impress your parents if you can remember it. Advent means um, arrival. Let's just say that. Advent means arrival. The arrival of Jesus into the world. And do you know how he came into the world? I bet you do. He came into the world because he was born of his mother, Mary. And he was born in a manger, is the image that we have every Christmas. So, we have this first candle. Uh, representing that hope. Now today we'll look at this second candle, which is going to represent preparation. Being prepared for things. I bet you know what it's like to have to be prepared for when you get up to go to school in the morning, or you have to come here to go to church. Your parents, mom and dad, might say you need to get ready for church. That means you need to get prepared. You need to put your shoes on and your socks on. Make sure you have your pants on, you brush your teeth, and you're ready to go. That's what preparation means. So here is our Bible verse for preparation as we are, in this context, talking about being prepared for the arrival of Jesus into the world. That's what the second candle represents. And so here's our Bible verse um, today. Isaiah 40, verse uh, 3 says this, A voice cries in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Do you hear that word there? Prepare. A voice cries in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places will be plain. And this is all because Isaiah says, The glory of the Lord is going to come. Now, the really, really fancy word we learned that you're going to impress your mom and dad with is the word Advent. Advent means arrival. So today we're looking at the word preparation. And Isaiah, our verse here in Isaiah 40 says that we are going to prepare for the arrival of Jesus Christ. And the way we do that is it's like a really, really flat highway. When you drive um, on the highway with your mom and dad, some roads are windy and up and down and they bend and they turn, but then some roads are really, really straight and really, really level, like really big highways where you get to drive really fast. That's what Isaiah has in his mind. That's what I want you to think about in your life. Is your life like a highway? Do you prepare the way for Jesus to come into your heart? Think about that this Christmas as we look at this second candle. So I want to show you these puzzle pieces uh, that they might make sense with you. So we'll look at this one first. What do you see here? You see a picture of somebody who is painting. But look at how the puzzle pieces don't fit. Nope, doesn't match. There's not a good order to these puzzle pieces, right? So when we hear the word preparation, that means something comes before something else, right? How would you prepare these puzzle pieces so that they would fit the right way? Well, this one looks like an end piece, right? So maybe this goes over here, but then we wouldn't want to put these two together because, well, look, there's nothing on the canvas. He hasn't painted the picture and he's already done. Look, he doesn't even have the paintbrush in his hand. So see, you have a middle piece, and look how they fit. That's how preparation works. First, he prepared. He had his apron on, and he had his paint ready to go. And then he started painting, and then he finished his painting. There's steps to being prepared. That's what we learn about in Christmas, is that we need to prepare 
for Jesus Christ. How about this one? Have you ever made a snowman before? There's a certain way to do it. You have to prepare so that you can make a snowman. Maybe we'll get some snow in the next few weeks and you'll be able to make a snowman out in the backyard. But obviously we know that this doesn't come first, right? This is the end result. How do you get to make a full snowman? Well, you have to prepare with different pieces. So here's the first piece, the first ball she makes, and that matches really well. Look, that goes right together. And then she puts another piece together. But then at the end, when she's done, the snowman has eyes and a nose and a mouth. So that step of being prepared so that you can go from step one to step two to step three, that's really important as we learn everything we need to know about Jesus Christ this Christmas, that it was prepared for a long time that Jesus would come into the world. And that's what we learn in the second candle of preparation.